In this episode of Other People's Airplanes, we serve veterans. Welcome to Other People's Airplanes, a show where we bring you into the cockpit and along for the ride whenever we do awesome aviation-related stuff. I'm your host, David Allen. Now, today, we've made our way over to our friends at the Disabled American Veterans, and I actually got to fly with the DAV flight team in Panchito about two years ago. Fantastic airplane and a fantastic message as these guys are delivering. So let's get right into an interview with their national commander. So today, I'm joined by Larry Paul Zine, and Larry is the national commander of the Disabled American Veterans. Larry, thank you so much for joining us here on Other People's Airplanes. Thank you for uh, having me here today. I really appreciate uh, you coming out here and doing this for all veterans. We're big fans of the Disabled American Veterans. I mean, obviously, the icon is the flight team, and we're looking at the, the B-25 over there, Panchita, who I've, I've got a chance to fly in a couple of years ago. But... The real mission here is to get the message out about DAV and the Disabled American Veterans and what the services are that you can provide for veterans. I'm going to lob one right to you. It's all about just medical stuff, right? No, uh, that's not the only thing that the DAV is responsible for. Many of our local chapters, uh, they raise money every year to help provide the vans that we turn in turn give to the Veterans Administration to go out and pick up our veterans who need transportation to and from the hospitals. This is done locally by uh, different members of the chapter that go out and have forget-me-not drives. They help raise the money to do this. And also another great project that we have is helping the shut-in veterans by whenever they need help, they call the local chapter. If he needs uh, their lawn mowed or she needs help going to the grocery store, someone from that chapter will go out and assist them. Uh, it's just been a great, uh, I guess what the bottom line is, it's just one big happy family helping anybody that needs the help and assistance in any way they can. Uh, we go out, uh, we hear about our veterans that are overseas and things that they need. We send care packages over there for uh, toilet articles that they may need down there. We go into the hospitals, guys and girls that are in there that are severely wounded, they need help writing letters. Uh, we go in there and sit there and read to them, write letters for them. Uh, when a troop ship comes back from uh, overseas, we have greeters at the main uh, checkpoint is in Maine and uh, the local people there, it's just, uh, it brings tears to your eyes to see all these people go out there every day at night greeting these people and greeting them when they're leaving. Uh, it's, it's just, uh, it really makes you great to be a part of a, a veterans organization and doing all these things. And the volunteers here are just phenomenal. They, this would not be near as successful if it wasn't for the, all these volunteers and keeping the cost down. So they all have a part in their heart that's helping veterans and we really appreciate this. And what is the cost to a veteran who's gonna receive these kinds of services that you guys offer? Well, to start a life membership, we don't have annual memberships anymore. The down payment is $40 and you have approximately three years to pay that unpaid balance off. The highest priced one is $260. So that's very cheap uh, help that you can get anytime you need assistance with your disability claim. And there's a lot of hours that's put into it that if you went out and hired an attorney, you could not even get started for what it costs for a full paid life membership. And uh, it's like anything with Congress. Uh, the only thing they want to hear is how many members do you have and how big the number is. And that's what they're listening to. And at the rate that our membership is passing away, it's over 10,000 a month now that we're losing because of nutrition. And uh, we got to keep fighting to get new members involved in this and uh, helping with our goal as well. So what kinds of things do you do to get the word out about DAV and that, that these services are available? We have 
great sponsorship with the Ford Motor Company. They're very great about that. Uh, the Panchito is very great about that. This this van goes to all air shows, uh, advertising the DAV. All these vans that we I talked about earlier that go down the road with the hospitals, they all have the DAV on there. Our website's on there. Anybody that's interested in becoming a volunteer or a driver, go on our website. They will get in touch with you to become a driver to help somebody. And we got a lot of TV spots uh, that are continually coming out uh, helping veterans. And we also do uh, the Winter Snow Clinic in uh, Aspen, Colorado. And that's another great way to we advertise for the DAV and what they do to help veterans. Very good. Thank you so much for joining us here on Other People's Airplanes, and we hope we can help get the word out about this, this fantastic benefits that you guys offer. Thank you very much for your time, too. Appreciate it. So a huge thanks to Larry for taking the time to talk to us here about what the DAV offers. And, and, and the flight team, of course, you know, is just, I love that they're using a B-25 to get the message out to veterans. And if you would like to get more information about the DAV and what they're doing, head on over to their website. Uh, you, can, you can get all kinds of information, and especially if you know somebody who needs services, that's the place to go. They also have a Facebook page, and I'd love for you to go and, and like that Facebook page. Here's the interesting thing. Once a year, they look at everybody who has liked their page, and they give away a model of Panchito, and it is a gorgeous model. So if you simply by liking their Facebook page, you can get a chance to win a model just like this. Uh, it's, it's just a beautiful model. So go over there, give them a like, and uh, get information, more information about the DAV. That's it for this episode of Other People's Airplanes. We thank you for watching all of our coverage here from EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2013. We've got lots of more coverage coming out to you. Uh, thanks for subscribing in YouTube and iTunes. Thanks for giving us a like on our Facebook page. We will talk to you again next time.